Hello, my name is Felix Kanadi Sujono and I am one of the awardee of the Singapore Scholarship 2023. Hi, I'm Stavian Lim and I'm one of the awardee of the Singapore Scholarship 2023. Well, well. Hello everyone, my name is Jede Chaka Indra and I am one of the awardee of Singapore Scholarship 2023. Grateful. I feel really thankful. Surprise. So, my preparation began probably when I was in primary, when I joined math club. And this helped me for the math test later in the test in the scholarship. But my real preparation began back in January this year. And that time I joined the English tuition and math tuition to further master the topics needed for the test. So the first thing I'd think of would be my field trip back a few months ago in Bastagi. Over there, we had a gathering with all my friends and the teachers and we also had performances and dances and I really think that that is a very joyful experience. My plan for the future is to become a software engineer and to build a large and huge company in the computer field that is of course going to be successful. When I just transferred to this school, I heard about this scholarship program. I was very interested and decided to join as studying abroad has always been my dream since I was little. I was involved in math and English tuition to be fully prepared for the scholarship task and also did some research for the interview. It was my second try to get the scholarship since last year I failed to get the offer. But that failure made me work harder in achieving my dream to continue my studies abroad. Besides, BIM teachers helped me a lot in the preparation and supported me a lot. For me, every day at school is a very meaningful experience. I get to interact with my friends and teachers, and school has always been very fun because of those interactions. Learn new things together, helping and being helped by my classmates, and facing difficulties together is a very memorable experience for me. I wish to succeed in my studies in Singapore and get accepted in my dream college. I also hope that I can learn more about other cultures and use my knowledge to contribute to the betterment of society. When I first discovered that I managed to pass the pass as the person who received the scholarship, I was completely shocked by the fact that I got it. It's because of the fact that I have been given another second chance for me to pursue my goals. So that's very interesting for me and I will promise to make the most of it. My advice to anyone that is looking for a scholarship is to build up connection with friends and also teachers. Reasons why is to find information, sometimes you cannot do it by yourself. For me, Friends and teachers can also help you find the latest information. My favorite activity in BIM is right now the Solitary D Day. Because for me, Solitary D Day is fun because that place where I can learn how to improve my leadership skills, how to bargain with certain items, or even sell as many of my products to gain the most profit from the rest of my competitors. Furthermore, I've also learned about the charity work that we did as we also donate some of our profits to those who really need it. Yes, I can make a difference in the future because if I do not do it now, then I will surely fall behind later on. But when I figured out that I did not get the scholarship for the first time, I was bummed as of course, I already trained so hard for the scholarship. However, I've soon realized that I shouldn't give up at all. I've decided to train even more harder for the next scholarship because I know there is another second chance that I can do once more again. But luckily, I got accepted to this scholarship. Actually, my answer 
also is grateful as the same. Hello, my name is Felix. Felix Kana, uh, sorry. Hello, my name is Felix Kanadi Suzono, and I am one of the Singapore. Ah, got it again. 